One of the main reasons that I decided to do this film is because of Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo is, is, is a master of creating creatures. Now very slowly, very slowly. Put your weight on your front paws and all that. It's really impressive to see the different phases of the transformation, the stuff of nightmares. It's pretty grotesque and scary. It's definitely um, in line with Guillermo's creations. Guillermo has an extremely unique perspective on monsters and how to create them, almost uh, unlike anybody else. You have some sculptural detail in here that is post-fatic. He really has almost like this this childlike exuberance in creating these particular creatures because he has such a encyclopedic knowledge about almost every creature that's ever been made that he wants to feel wholly unique and wholly unique to this project and what it represents on a metaphorical level. And no detail is too small. I worked with Guy Davis and Scott into finding the design for the Wendigo, one of the great figures of representation of a king of a forest. Is, uh, is the antlers, you know, is the crown of antlers on a stag. And Guy and I tried to find a symmetry that was almost uh, like ornamental on the antler design. I suggested that we erase the eyes to make it blind, because it's like blind rage or is inhuman. And if you give it the teeth of the skull, it seems to be just hungry. We spent a long time drawing it and a long time sculpting it, and it was so gorgeous. And I think Shane and Legacy did a fantastic execution of that.